Right. But there's also this myth about um, connectivity out of some of those major airports. I mean, Dublin has more short haul connections than Heathrow, you know, throughout Europe. You know, um, delivered but you by have you. This Dublin, Dublin Airport. Well, delivered by you. Yeah, well, we, we have about 60% of the market. There, yeah, you know? yeah, but yeah. like that amount of connections that are on short haul, I mean, we overlap with our Lingus out there, and there's nobody else. But more short haul connections out of Dublin than Heathrow. But, but on that point, though, do, I mean, one of the great traditional things about the traditional industry was the interline system. I could fly and then I could transfer to use those connectivity points that you offer. You're not looking at offering interline or anything like that? No. no. Why not? I mean, it's, it's, it's probably it's more to do with operational efficiency. You've got to have different infrastructure at the airport. Keep it simple. Um, you know, the most successful airports that we have had are ones that have grown with us. You know, you take places like Bergamo that has grown from a small a cargo airport back in 2003 to Italy's third largest airport now. Mm. You know, and the idea that you'd put infrastructure in to connect with, I don't know who you connect with, there's no need to connect with us out of Italy, because we fly everywhere else out of Italy, particularly domestically. You know? but, but I so, could fly so into Bergamo on you and then transfer onto another flight on you and go from A to C, if you like. Yeah, but again, you, um, you are, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to grow and proliferate those point-to-point -point connections because people don't want to take two flights. They want to take one flight. Mm. You know? uh, people don't have the time for it, particularly like intra-European connections you know, went out with the Indians. You know? like it's, uh, it's, not, um, uh, it's not something that anyone is growing within Europe, and anyone who is, it's getting much smaller.